OCN, Word of God to the World. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jerry Jones, and I am president and CEO of Mega International. And we're going to talk a little bit about today about grants and nonprofit. It was brought to my attention by several people. They wanted me to make sure that we talked a little bit more about these grants and nonprofit and how they go about starting their own business. So I thought it was a nice gesture that we reiterate some of the things that we've already had went over in the past so we can help you with the future. Uh, I also want to give a shout out there to Miss Linda Crum, who's out in Portland, Oregon, had helped me with some of the other people that's trying to do their nonprofit in that geographic area. I want to say thank you, Linda, for doing that. And now we can get on with this nonprofit. A lot of you out there are looking to do, get some grant money and start your own business. Well, first of all, in order to start your grants and get chance to get your grants rolling, there are no guarantees with grants. The only thing you can do is be able to get your paperwork documented. And we've been in this business for 17 years. But I, I, I'm going to start where you need to start. You need to go and get your 501c3. A 501c3 is a document given to you through the Secretary of State. The Secretary of State gives you a document indicating that you are a corporation in the state in which you live or other states that you may apply for it. And once you have that 501c3 uh, from the Secretary of State, at that point you want to be able to have the Franchise Tax Board so you can get your tax ID numbers and everything properly and you'd make a copy of your state papers and you put it in an application called the 1023. The 1023 is an application that goes to the IRS. And with you being able to have the 1023 application after you satisfied the state, the Franchise Tax Board, and the IRS, then you're in a position to wait for the IRS to give you a determination letter indicating that you are tax exempt. And that means that any monies that is given to you from non-monetary -mon non or monetary, you're in a position not to have to pay this money back. So you need to have a 501c3 first before you go after grants. Once you have that 501c3, you're eligible to go out there to get various grants from upscale health care, child development, anger management, conflict resolution, housing, um, uh, we, hunger, we can, uh, child development, any of these programs are available for you to go and being able to bring monies into your organization. We help you to get the 501c3 and we also write the grant. The reason I tell people a lot, I say if you're going to write your 501c3, always try to get the same person to write your grant because the 501c3 paperwork and the Articles of Incorporation should be synonymous, means that whatever one is saying from the state, the paperwork from the IRS should say the same thing. And too many times you have one person doing your 501c3 and somebody else doing your 1023, and then you got questions back from the IRS and it creates a lot of habit for you because you go to the end of the line, you start over 90 days again, and that's not going to help you to work. There are the various people that can be able to do it effectively and efficiently. We like to write the grants and we like to write the 501c3 at the same time. So that way there's no discrepancy in what you gave the state versus what you're looking to get the type of money. Now, if you're asking if there's money available out there, the, ask, the answer is absolutely yes. There's money out there for all type of programs. There's $17.9 billion on various state and government programs. You've got corporations out there. You've got funding foundation and private individual. And during the tenure of your business, you can apply for all five or you can go after just one. If you just only want to go after corporations, funding foundation, private individuals, you can do just that. Now, that alleviates the government and state. Now, when you're not applying for government and state, those are taxpayers. When you're applying for corporation, Funding foundation, private individual, those are shareholders. They go in the boardroom, make a decision, they give you some money, and because you got your 501c3, and they get a tax write off by helping you. All corporations can write off 10% of their annual income to your nonprofit organization. Now, if you don't apply, they can't help you. 
So best thing to do is to get your 501c3 and to get it effectively as, as expeditiously as possible because the money's out there. It's a great opportunity for you to start a new business. And at this point, you can help a lot of disadvantaged, underprivileged, disenfranchised, handicapped people that are not privy to being able to have this information. My name is Jerry Jones. The name of my company is Mega International. My phone number is area code 310 337 1169 310-337-1169. Give us a call and we'll be glad to work with you to help you in your tenure of business. We'll help you in terms of any information that we can give you according to various websites and different other places that you can go to look up this information for yourself. But our, our thing is get the 501c3, get the grants, and then go after other corporations, funding foundation, private individuals, government and state. Now, once you have the 501c3, you can get all the money from here to China. But I tell people all the time, anytime you're going after getting free money, you got to pay Uncle Sam first. And you're gonna have to go through his process in order to be able to get the money. So you have to get the 501c3. And once he gives you the determination letter indicating that you're tax exempt, it means that you can go out there and get money from all type of sources, the five sources that I prefer in talk that one, or one way or the other you're going to wind up getting money from and that's corporations, funding foundations, private individuals, government and state. Any one of those entities can give you money. Now you got 44 million corporations out there, you got 10,000 foundations out there, you got 107,000 millionaires and billionaires out there. You got 17,000 government and state grants that are out there. Now, if you're not getting any money, it's because you're not working the program. You know, nothing is going to come to a sleeper but a dream. So if you want, if you want to keep on sleeping, all you're going to get is a dream. You got to put action into it. You know, we can't talk about it. You got to be about it. My name is Jerry Jones, and I am president and CEO of Mega International. My phone number is 310. 337-1169. We've been doing this for 17 years. We've been working with the Department of uh, Secretary of State. We've been with the Franchise Tax Board and with the IRS. We did over 8,000 uh, 501c3s. We raised over $550 million in grants. And we've worked with the corporations, funding foundations, private individual, government, and state. I'm looking forward to working with you, and I hope that we can work in this tenure of business that we both can work together so that we can make it synonymous in what you're trying to do. Uh, there are grants out there for all type of programs. I'm not privy to what you want to do, but one of the things about it, once you call me, I can tell you if it's available or if it's something that we can help you with. But I can't help you if you don't call. So call us at area code 310 337 1169. My name is Jerry Jones and I am president and CEO of Mega International. Now we're going to talk a little bit about the grants. Once you wind up getting your 501c3 and you got your state papers all done and at that point you can register with SAMS.gov. SAM, S-A-M-S dot gov. And you register with SAM and Dunn and Bradstreet on getting new grants. Now, once you turn around and go to sams.gov and you turn around and register, you'll be in a position that get from, from SAMS, they'll indicate to you all the various grants that becomes available and so that you'll be able to turn around and go after certain grants that you weren't privy to before you heard here on the air. Now, one of the things I want to do, one of the things I want to stress here is that if we can work together and let me know what your business is that you're trying to do, I'll be more than happy to work with you. But right now, I, I don't know what your plans are, so give me a call at area code 310-337-1169. And don't be afraid to call because a lot of people feel, well, I don't know, this is over my head, I don't know nothing about it. Well, if you don't do something, you're going to sit around doing nothing. That's not going to help either one of us. So all I'm telling you, we'll give you the best information we possibly can. And then if you don't utilize Mega International or Jerry Jones, you can use whoever you like. But one of the things about it is we will educate you as to what you can and what you can't do, and that's not a problem. So give us a call at area code 310-337-1169. I look forward to working with you. Another thing we're going to talk about is the grant. In terms of the grant, once you decided that you've gotten your 501c3 and you're going to go after various grants, you're going to have to have your need statements, you're going to have to have your goals, your methodology, your budget justification, your narrative, your appendix, your geographic, and any personnel that uh, 
that you have working for you so that this will all be part of your organization. The one thing that I find that a lot of us want to do these businesses, but we don't have the proper documentation and paperwork in order to have us to be able to do it effectively. I want to be able to help you in terms of your tenure or business so that we can both work together to make this as advantageous for you as possible. But um, some of the grants that are available in terms of health care, uh, battered women, domestic violence, and then a lot of, one of the things I wanted to also bring, bring forward, a lot of people make mistakes and a lot of people go to jail. Because you made a mistake, that doesn't mean your life is ended. But you can get a nonprofit corporation. You don't have to have, you don't have to have uh, your income tax, your social security number. You can get a 501c3 and go out there and start a brand new business and being able to help yourself and help the people that were not privy to what you've learned so that you can be able to make a difference in, the, in, the, in, in those people's lives. You got a lot of um, child care people, you got a lot of uh, low income, low GPA grade averages out there. Those people need technical skills. Everybody's not going to college and everybody's not gonna be able to learn a trade. So you wanna be able to be trained in a skill that you like, that you can learn and make money. Cause one thing about it, if you don't work, you're gonna steal if you don't, and you're not gonna be able to eat. So all I'm saying to you, there are other opportunities. There's other ways of you been there. I've been there and I've been doing this for uh, for the last 17 years and I've seen all type of grants. I've seen all type of people and I've did expeditiously on a lot of different grants that we help people to do. And one of the ones I'm really proud of is called Youth Bill. Youth Bill has been in existence for the last 11 years that we've been working with it. And Youth Bill comes down like five times a year. Well, in the meantime, most of the time the government gives out $78 million on a Youth Bill program. And that means that the, the cap on the grant is like $300,000. And we see that they give it out five times during the year, which is probably 25,000 people that will be able to get that $300,000 worth of monies for their organization. Now, there are other grants that are out there, child development, uh, anger management, conflict resolution, mental anguish, uh, job training. All these grants are available for you to be able to work with and be applicable for your particular application. But you can't get any of it unless you have the proper documentation and paperwork so it can help you to do what you need to do. There's a lot of stuff in terms of refugees, uh, systems that we're working with in South Africa, teaching them how to be able to have a better water source, better food supplies, and being able to send various things over from here to help them over there. I mean, we do a lot in terms of the grants, and there's a lot of pastors, preachers, teachers, and educators that are doing a tremendous amount of work and doing an excellent job of helping people that are in foreign countries that are third world countries that don't have the resources that we have. So all I'm saying to you is that today is your time. Call us at area code 310-337-1169. My name is Jerry Jones and I am president and CEO of Mega International. We would love to be able to hear from you and we would love to be able to help you. I can't guarantee you that you're gonna get a grant. I don't do that, but I will guarantee you that we will stick with you on the 501c3 until you get it. But on terms of grant, nobody can guarantee any grants. But the point of it is the money's out there and if you don't apply for it, you're not gonna get it. Now, there's a few other things that I wanna bring into fruition at this time. And that's we wanna talk a little bit about um, some of the child care and um, welfare to work programs that are available out there. There's a lot of grants in that area that people should be applying for to help some of these disadvantaged people on various programs. There's adult education, you got senior citizen home, you got group homes, you got transitional housing, and you got a lot of the Veterans Administration which are looking to turn around and get some of the monies to be able to have housing for the vets that are coming on and we want to be able to help them as much as possible. The only thing that we can help them is only when they call and we can educate them on the different sources of things that are available and if, see if they have their documentation and paperwork together so they can go on to get more of what they're looking for, housing, money for their programs, food for their program, shelter program, and any other thing that would be applicable for their particular application. My name is Jerry Jones and I am president and CEO of Mega International. I would be delighted to hear from you. Give us a call at area code 
337-1169. And um, the other thing that I thought that would be very, we have a program called To Be Informed. That would be very helpful to being here on the program is to make sure that you apply for your grants and being able to take this down. You go to grants.gov, G-R-A-N-T-S, G-R-A-N-T-S dot gov, and you register. And you also want to go to another website called the Catalog of Federal Domestic Assistance, the Catalog of Federal Domestic Assistance, cfda.gov, cfda.gov the Catalog of Federal Domestic Assistance. And in there, you'll find over 17,000 various grants that are applicable for your application through the Department of Justice, Department of Health and Human Service, Department of HUD, and through Department of, Health, um, Department of Education. All these grants are in those particular applications. So if you go to CFDA on your computer and you look under cfda.gov on your computer and you can look up under the various sources of HUD, education, uh, Justice Department, and several other branches of the government that gives out grants every day on a, on a continuous basis. Then you basically register with sams.gov so that you'll be able to go on SAMS and when a grant becomes available, they will email you the grant of the type of work that you're doing. So if you, let's say if you said, okay, I'm doing child development, working with uh, welfare to work women. Now, if you went on sams.gov and registered, every time a child welfare grant becomes available, they email you and let you know that that grant's available for you to apply for. And, you, and, and one of the things, I, I really get a little bit of perturbed. A lot of us are looking for a one grant application, don't. Remember, if I, if I came to you today and I gave you $360,000, what would you do tomorrow? Tomorrow you'd still be broke. So you don't want to look at one grant. You want to look at many grants. And most of the major people that are out there in this grant world, they're continuously looking for grants. It's not that the money's not available. You want to make sure you work to get it. And you need, at that point, a good developmental officer that can be able to help you in your tenure of business, making the phone calls, electronically sending the paperwork to the people that they need to send the paperwork to, staying on the phone and following up. This is a full-time job. If I'm going to be in there looking, say, if I set my objectives to, oh, Let's say we want to get four hundred and fifty thousand dollars in in the next four months, or or three hundred thousand. Well, then I got to make the f proper phone calls. I got to get in touch with the proper people in order to be able to get that type of funding. Now, if I'm not going to work it, I can't get it because they don't know who I am. But if I'm working it, there's people out there willing to fund you. But you got to open your mouth and ask for it. Without asking, you're not going to get it. And don't, and a lot of people say, well, we're brand new. We, we, nobody's going to give us any money. That's not true. They, if you're professional in your work and you got somebody that do your work, they don't know if, if you started yesterday or last month. They're not asking any of that. They're looking at what the need statements is, the goals, the methodology, the budget justification, the narrative, the appendix, and all that stuff is imperative to the person or the, donor, the donors that's given to the donee the amount of stuff that's in there that's going to be able to get you that grant. So, and then when you talk to them, you talk intelligently, just like you were talking with a business person. And you know, make sure that you let them know what your needs are, ask them what they can do to help. They're giving it out anyway, you're just not getting it. So all I'm saying to you, let's, let's, let's make a little change in what we're doing. Get your 501c3 and your paperwork all done, go after getting a grant done, and then go on after the money that's available. Whether it be monetary or non-monetary, you should apply for those grants. Monetary means anything with money. Non-monetary means cars, clothes, building, equipment, and stuff like that that they can give you and get a tax write-off. Now, you have an option. You can take the non-monetary or you can take both. You can take the money and the commodities that they give you. But if you don't have the 501c3, you can get neither. So I just wanted to be able to help you today and bring and educate you on some things that you need to know and let you be able to know and be informed. I mean, you know, God blesses me and I try to bless others. And all I can tell you is this, if the door is going to open for you, you got to step your foot in the water and make it happen. And one of the other things that I've noticed that a lot of people would love to have their 501c3, but they go and they get different people to 
go after their paperwork, their paperwork come back messed up, and then they get at the end of the line, it takes them a year, two years, and we've seen those horror stories transcend itself into a lot of different people didn't mean to make it happen like that, but they did. And they said, well, I don't want no parts of getting in. It took too long, and I don't want the government in my business. Well, anything you do, the government's already in your business, so it don't make no difference. You know, big boys watching, no matter where you're paying taxes, where you watch, buying drivers, and you got your driver's license, they already in your business. But the problem of it is, make your life a little bit more easier, and make other people's life a little bit more easier, because the money is available. And if it wasn't available, they wouldn't be in a position to give it to you. So now, you need to work at making sure that it happens for you and give us a call at area code 310-337-1169. My name is Jerry Jones and I am president and CEO of Mega International. And I'm standing here because I'm doing a little perspiring because these lights are really bright up here. But I, I thought that I would try to help you, uh, you know, get this information out to you as expeditiously as possible. There's a lot of grants coming down. Now, I want to tell you something else that's going to help you out a lot. October 1st, write this down. October 1st is the end of the government's physical year for this year. October 1st. So September 29th or September 30th, the end of the month of September, the next day is 2016. A lot of people think it's January. No, it's not January. It is October 1st. So all these grants that are flowing down right now, they're coming through because they got to get them off the books in order to get the new monies for, for October 1st to start. And then we're in a, in a res, regime where there's a lot of changes being made. So I'm telling you, even if you didn't get a grant, go after your 501c3 as expeditiously as possible. If you don't utilize my company or utilize somebody, get it because it's imperative that you can help others and you can help yourself. A lot of people got cancers, diabetes, stroke, nutrition, food programs, all that's available under the 501c3. And you can get a lot of stuff going on. You know, one of the things that saddened me is when I looked at Trevina and I saw all the stuff that was going on, those people sitting out there and none of them had food, and I looked at the Salvation Army and United Way and all those people were getting so much money coming down there in New Orleans and they asked them to stop sending money. But 90% of the low income people they couldn't get a dime. They didn't have a 501c3. And then when FEMA came down there, FEMA prioritized doing the people that had the nonprofit over the people that didn't have it. So I'm telling you, it's imperative like a driver's license. It's your gold card and you can get it. But once you get it, keep it in a, in a safe place and go after the things that's applicable for your particular application. My name is Jerry Jones and my phone number is area code 310-337-1169. Call us as expeditiously as possible. Let's get the show on the road and let's get it happening. And I'm going to tell you, I can't help you if you don't call. Now, there's opportunities out there. And if you don't utilize my company, utilize somebody else. Get it done. You know, don't talk about it. Be about it. I look forward to working with you. And I hope that in the future we can be able to do more things. And um, there's questions that you might have not I might have not answered on the program. Write the questions down that you want me to be able to help you with so that I can be able to answer those questions intelligently and being able to help you with the things that I might have not spoke on today. But I'm looking forward to working with you. I hope that this program has been educational in terms of giving you information. I feel that uh, there's a lot that I have not said. I can't cram everything down in one, telev one television uh, infomercial, but I can say this, if you call us, we'll work with you and we will try to help you. But the point of it is, if you don't utilize us, utilize somebody and get it done. Because there's going to be some changes coming down. And when I started in this thing, it was a half a million people that had 501c3s. Now there's over 14 million people that's got 501c3s. So that shows you the magnitude of how many people is in it. And we find out that 90% of the low-income people don't even know about it or they don't know that they are, uh, they're available to get it. So just like I checked with the state of Mississippi, they had 87,000 people that had 501c3s and come to find out less than 5,000 people that were low income had uh, a 501c3. And that was ludicrous because we're the worst off. We don't have food, we don't have clothing, we don't have money to pay the bills and a lot of other stuff. And there's people out there got plenty of money that can contribute towards those programs that you have to make it work. So I'm saying to you, get your 501c3 and ask for those donations. 
from those people that are more prosperous and more in a, in a position to help you than you can help yourself. My name is Jerry Jones, and I am president and CEO of Mega International. And I thank God for being on the program today, and I wish you all the best in your tenure of business. I look forward to working with you, and I hope this program has been very informative. And I um, think that the questions that you will be able to have that, uh, that I have not answered would be certainly appreciated so that I can tell you on which way you need to go. But we can't help you if you don't call. So I want to say thanks to all the people that we've been privy to helping out there in the past, all the people that helped me to get where I am in today's standard and educating you with more information. And I look forward to continue working with you. And I think that this has been a blessing to be able to educate you through me multimedia, which normally I wouldn't be able to do it. It would be word of mouth and we would hear it. But this way we're reaching a lot of different people that are hearing us all over the country. And we want to make sure that they are, uh, are workable for this particular application that they're trying to do. I look forward to working with you and I thank you for the time that we spent. My name is Jerry Jones. From CN, Word of God to the World.